All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what we're going to do here for the converse, um, if I'm going to be determining the converse, what I need to go ahead and do is, again, kind of understand how does the converse relate to the conditional statement? Well, if I was going to use symbols, the converse is when we switch the P and the Q. So we swap them. So the if and the then stay the same. It's always if, it's always then. But now my P and my Q, which is my hypothesis and my conclusion, those get swapped. So Mani, the way that that reads is if they are parallel lines. So if, I'll just say you have parallel lines. Because if they are parallel lines doesn't really make sense. So if you have parallel lines, then, then alternate interior angles are equal. Right? Does everybody see that? So all I did was I swapped my P and my Q. Okay? I swapped the P and the Q. So that's how you find the converse of a statement.